Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection, and Happy New Year to everyone, 2019. Let me start up here, and uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to start with uh, a couple of things I got in the mail just today from some friends of mine. Uh, let's see, three videos. Got uh, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Ben Stiller. Uh, Dude, Where's My Dog? Never heard of it. They're really into dog stuff and pets and all that stuff, so I guess they know know about it. And uh, Deception is Power Paranoia. Also another one I haven't seen or really heard of. It's got some good actors, well, two good actors. Gary Oldman, Gary Oldman, I should say, and Harrison Ford. And two marquee, valued young people, I guess. I don't know. But uh, I've never seen it. it. Sounds good. Exciting. So, thank you, Marilyn and John. Next up, uh, let's see, I got Clue the Movie. This I got from uh, Barnes & Noble. Uh, then I got Bandits, which I'm not sure where I picked it up from. Oh, actually, this might have been from 95. Might have been from the library. That might have been mixed in there. And uh, The Librarians. It's uh, season four of this series, which I still haven't watched. I have season one, and I have the original movies. It seems like the type of show that I would like. So Next up, I got some stuff from Big Lots. Big Lots... Uh, tends to get new stuff here and there, kind of, it's almost not noticeable at times. Uh, there used to be a time when, especially for the holidays, you would just get noticeably a lot of new stuff, but but if you look around, you find new little things, and this is one thing I found, Resident Evil Afterlife Steelbook. I have found Steelbooks there before, for five bucks, that's not bad. Uh, I think I already have this one, maybe I don't, which I'm not sure, but uh, Pretty good steelbook. I like steelbooks. It's got special features, which I, I think the one that I do have, if I have it, it's a DVD, and I don't think it has any documentary, so that's not bad. I picked up Sea of Love. This is a cop thriller with uh, Pacino and Alan Barkin from uh, back in the day, and never saw it, but uh, thought I'd pick it up for three bucks. Not too bad. And just today at Big Lots, a couple of new things I found there. La Femme Nikita for three bucks on Blu-ray. Uh, I like Luc Besson. Those of you who are, who are into collecting exclusively Blu-rays, you might want to go on over to uh, Big Lots. They seem to be adding more and more Blu-rays. And uh, more and more that aren't those previously viewed ones uh, for ten bucks that are usually Disney ones. Let's face it, the Disney bloodsuckers. But... Uh, but yeah, three bucks, it's not bad. I never saw this film. I always wanted to see it, and I liked the director. So I know it was remade into a, an American version with Brigitte uh, Fonda. And uh, Dracula, a Coppola version. For three bucks, it's one of those digi books. You know, it's got the booklet in there. Is that called a digi book? I don't know why I'm calling it a digi book. I, I, I heard it somewhere. Maybe this isn't actually what a digi book is. I don't know. Sounds good, though. I'll call it one. It's got the. Uh, the booklet in there, which is pretty cool. It's got special features. I've always liked this version of Dracula. Not my favorite, but I do like it. And uh, I, I, I've never cared for the aspect of the whole love story and how they just, you know, their true loves and all that stuff. That's not, that's not, that I could do without that part. Uh, I got Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. I believe I got this from probably Walmart. <coughs> Excuse me, but... Uh, I've got all the Tremors movies. I haven't seen all the Tremors movies. I haven't seen this one. But for some reason, I just want to collect them. Even if I don't know how good they are. I don't expect it to be good. I just expect it to be cheesy. And, you know, I like Michael Gross. And I like Monsters. So, for seven fifty, dollars that's worth it to me. I also got Dragonheart. Battle for the Heartfire. I really, really like that first Dragonheart movie. The second one was kind of... Uh, I don't know if... The, this is the third one or the fourth one, but thought I'd give it a try. It was also cheap. Uh, okay, now, this next one here. This is a foreign film called Singham. Um, this one I got off of Amazon. The best way to describe this... You know what, I'm not even going to try to describe it. Here's what you want to do. When you're done watching this video, here on YouTube, look up Indian Chuck Norris and just watch the clip. It can, 
it just explains it much better than I can. And you'll know why this is the most awesome thing I've seen in a long time. And why I had to get it. Uh, so I, I started watching it. I was only able to watch like 15 minutes and it didn't disappoint. Uh, so uh, I'm going to continue to watch that hopefully this week. And since I was getting that one and because apparently there was a sequel, I also got Singham Returns. Uh, just so good. You just, just check it out. You'll, you'll see. And of course a whole buttload of stuff from my library's used bookstore. Guys, check out your library's used bookstore. I have gotten so many good things there and you know, I'm not in the habit of buying used stuff especially since the new stuff is so often so cheap like you saw at Big Lots, but I just find good things there and in such good condition. I don't know, maybe it's just my area, but somebody's donating them and taking very good care of them. So, uh, I got Mystery Men. It's that uh, film about the superheroes. It's when the superhero films were kind of starting off, well, not even starting off before then, but uh, it's kind of funny film, good cast. Ben Stiller, William Macy, uh, Hank Azaria, so a lot of good ones there. I got this Eagles Farewell Tour. Love the Eagles. Of course, the Eagles are classics. How it opens up here. It's got two discs on it. It's got a, a uh, booklet. It's basically a live performance. That's awesome. That's great. And speaking of which, I also found this one. John Fogarty, The Long Road Home. Another concert film. I love Fogarty. Also with a booklet. Yeah, that's great. The Men Who Stare at Goats. Uh, I did see this, but I don't fully remember it all. It has a good cast. I have to check it out. I just got it to check it out. If it's not good, I'll just donate it back. Uh, Trip in the Rift. This was a series that was on, I think, either Comedy Central or Sci-Fi Channel. I don't have those channels anymore. It is this weird animation. It's not the best, but... Uh, oh, I can't even open it. I may have to pause just to open this. Okay, so like 15 minutes later. Uh... So there's all this uh, stuff here. A lot of stuff, actually. That's kind of cool. Actually, I actually haven't really looked at this too closely. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Trip in the Rift was okay. It was, the humor was a little annoying at times, but I was actually trying to remember it more, so that's why I got it, because what the hell? It doesn't cost too much. Yeah, I'm going to have to pause to put it away again. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I got that. And uh, X-Men Last Stand. Ooh, controversial. Why did you get that? Well, I didn't pay twenty nine ninety nine for it. You can bet your ass for that. This I got pretty much free. Uh, I got it because it's not the best of the X-Men film for sure. Uh, but it's got its highlights, its moments. Uh, especially I like... Uh, where is it here? Oh, The Beast. I like that they introduced The Beast. A little late, but uh, I like that they introduced him. And I like that he was played by Kelsey Grammer. I thought that was cool. I always thought that the X-Men movie should have just started off with the original five X-Men, the way it is in the comic book. And uh, hopefully they'll do that now that they're over at Marvel. And you get a little booklet with it, so that's really one of the main reasons that I got it. came with the booklet. And this one here is pretty much the version that I already have anyway. But uh, it's just a collector thing, folks. Sometimes you see stuff like this, and then, hey, got to get it. So, there you go for that. And Burn the Floor, uh, Revolutionary Dance Extravaganza. I, I don't know if this is a movie or a, or a documentary about dance. I'm not sure. But anyway, I didn't even get it for me. This is for my friend Christine, who lives up north. Uh, she really loves dance. She is a dancer herself. So uh, I'm going to send this to her. So, Christine, if you're watching, because I know you watch all my videos, uh, this in the mail. It's going to be on its way soon. And I picked up uh, Apocalypto, which I've never seen, but I like Mel Gibson as a director. So we'll see how that is. Minions. I love the Minions. I already have this on DVD. The animated ones, you know, in terms of, this comes with DVD and the Blu-ray. Of course, Steelbook, and it's got a bonus disc with stuff on it. You know, I usually get 
these animated ones on DVD anyway because even if I see them on Blu-ray because the special features are usually just like kid games and stuff and there's not usually a, any documentaries on the making of the film, the animation or the, the voice acting and stuff. So, But I came across this and you know it was pretty much free. So, The Bodyguard, I thought I had this for some reason but I guess I don't. Uh, enjoy this film. Uh, it was back in the day. Uh, Kevin Costner, Whitney Houston, I thought she did a good job. But this, this is the thing. Oh wait, before the thing, I got one more thing. Series of Unfortunate Events. Uh, I do already have this one, I have the B Bare Bones one, but it's a two-disc special edition. I can't resist a two-disc special edition, of course not. Uh, here are the two discs. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Uh, a lot of special features, so I like that. I always like the special features. Okay, now, the big thing. Um, I am a big fan of the British sitcoms, and probably my favorite one of all is one called Red Dwarf. Uh, it combines comedy and sci-fi, uh, uh, one of my favorite, or my favorite genre. <clears throat> and uh, the thing about the British sitcoms or any British shows, at least here in the States, is that they're pretty pricey. You know, uh, so you have to look around. Getting all the Doctor Who seasons have, has been years for me because it always costs so much. But uh, the the sitcoms especially can be kind of pricey. So I've gotten a couple of Red Dwarfs. I've gotten some of the newer ones, and, yeah, it's always up there. These are two bucks each, you know, um, if that. Maybe even a dollar. Maybe even I, I might have even just gotten these free. I, I don't remember anymore, but... But I got this, and it comes with, and here's a good thing, it comes with the discs, two discs, and these cards, like, not playing cards, but cards like the cards that, you know, you collect, the collector's cards, and of course, the booklet, collector's booklet. These are used, okay, whoever had these did a superb job of taking care of them. I am going to give them such a good home and take such good care of them. And you hear me saying them, 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 and I'm showing you just one. The reason I'm saying them is because it is them. Yes, picked up four red dwarfs, just like that. And they all are complete with the cards. This is what I'm saying. Whoever whoever had them took such good care of them, they're, they're not they're, they're not scratched up or anything. The the cases are in good condition. I'm pretty happy with that one. So, um, yeah, nerd orgasm. But, uh, so that's great. I'm pretty happy. That, that puts me ahead of my collecting in Red Dwarf, that's for sure. It, it really, you know, I don't, I'm not sure how many I have left. I mean, not a lot left on these. So, uh, I'm glad I got them. Uh, a couple of co-workers gave me some, uh, some gifts for the holiday, and uh, one of them is the Aquaman Funko Pop. This is the new guy from the movie, uh, Jason Momoa. Uh, I don't know if they make, do they make the uh, real guy, the guy from the comic, you know, the Bond guy, the, the guy I grew up with? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure they do. But, uh, yeah, this is the Momoa guy. This is uh, Aqua Momoa. And, uh, yeah, it's cool. I like the addition to my, you know, I like the, the, I've got a couple of Funko Pops, as you guys have seen, and uh, that's really cool. And... Also got this one, Frodo Baggins, Midi Epi Epics and Weta Workshop. Well, I didn't realize it was Weta Workshop, but uh, it's Frodo, and uh, that's a really cool one. I really like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a nice little addition. Though I don't, I don't get to, to my collection. I don't get to collect a lot of uh, little figures and stuff because I just don't have the room to put them in. I wish I could. I, some channels have so many of them, uh, but uh, but these are really nice. They're really cool. So. So my uh, thanks, many thanks to uh, Emily and Pari for adding to my collection. And you will probably see these guys uh, at some point in the background on some of my videos somewhere. So anyway, that is it. Uh, you've seen everything in my haul, a little haul there. And uh, I hope you guys uh, have had a good uh, first, to two, first or second day, first and second day of uh, the new year, 2019. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Where's the other thumb? There you go. Uh, uh, uh.